So, because there's more loft on that 8 iron, it's easier to hook it, but to try to cut a, a, a short iron with a lot of fade, it's hard. You have to have a straighter face club. So, if he's over in the trees, which he says he was a lot, and he likes that great recovery shot, he'll take a, a less lofted club and. Uh, yeah, so we'll go around that, pull that golf ball and go the same blue flag. Most of you guys, this is your normal shot. <laughs> I don't know why I have to show you. <laughs> okay. Championships and, and uh, I know he's a three under and I finished the even so I missed the cut which I'm not happy about but Tiger you, you know we need to win the ball a little bit for you tomorrow to be able to move up the leaderboard and when you you've always played well in the win because you play a lot of creative shots and won open championships and run around the world tell the folks what, you know when you're trying to hit a knockdown shot or maybe a, a little softer shot here's the final what, what is it that you like to do like if, well, I like to practice at home. I've got this set up at the house where I can hit a lot of wedges and, and things of that nature. So what I, what my dad used to challenge me all the time was to to try and hit my normal club, whatever it was, 140 yards, and whatever that club would be. That's usually a nine iron. And then from there, how far up can you go in clubs? And still hit the ball the right distance, but the but the challenge was that's an easy challenge, but you have to keep it on the green. So you get up to like a four iron, three iron from 140 yards, you gotta get creative trying to hit the ball on the green. And that was his way of challenging me to move around my, my trajectory a little bit. So you do? It's pretty good. You're the man. That's why he's got the Augusta hat on. All right, so this is my normal trudge. Is that an eight iron? It's a normal eight iron. I'll flight one down a little bit. Flight one down, I'll play back a little bit. And by playing it back, as I was explaining to you with the three golf balls, the face is going to be a little bit open because the ball's further back, so it's going to draw. So to counter that, I try and swing a little bit more left. And I always try and finish one of the things that I tried to do to control my trajectory is where do I finish with my hands? So the, it, I don't always finish there, but it's, it's the thought and the feel. So I want, really want to hit one low, I want my hands to stop at my rib cage. I want to hit a little higher, my hands to stop at my shoulder. I want to hit a little bit higher, it's going to stop at my neck. If I want to hit super high, it's going to go up, up above my head. So those are just little, my, my little own little feels. So a really low one, I'll try and stop it at my rib cage. And then if I want to nuke one up in the air, let's try and finish up as high as I can above my head. So Good something else. like that. Pretty impressive. When it does come down to that, I mean, when, when guys are playing well, it's nice to have power and hit the ball a long way, but it's really, really important to be able to know how far you're in. And learning to always, like I told Tiger when I first met him, before he turned pro, yeah. Yeah. I said, you know, two things that I saw and have witnessed the great in game, what they do. And what they do is they always learn to hit the ball fin high. And that's like what Tiger said, his father challenged him, learning to control your distance. Yeah, it's great to hit it far, but it's no good if you don't control how far he's hitting the ball pin high. He might miss a little left and right, but if he's always around pin high, he's going to be playing good golf. And then the second thing is, you have to have good speed on the greens with your putting. I mean, you have to have a good short game to play well in good golf anyways. But to be a good putter, you have to have good speed. And if your speed is good, you're going to make more putts, and you're going to eliminate three putts. 
Well, the, the, the best way I, I learned about putting is speed determines line, not vice versa. A lot of, a lot of people get so fixated on line, they, they forget all about speed. But if you have dying speed, obviously the line changes. You put aggressively, then your line changes and it's going to be a little bit straighter. So speed determines line. I'm a great ranger, Rick. <laughs> oh, this is long tees. Oh, yeah. Flying backwards. Careful. I'll use the shorties. Okay. I'd ask you if you want to have a driving contest, but I'm going to have to wait until you turn 57, and then maybe I'll have a chance. <laughs> You can be one of these guys right here like this, you can be like this. Number one at Augusta. Yeah. <laughs> you want his honorary yeah. fires? Huh? Yeah, maybe. No, no, I can still get it out there. Now, we always play practice rounds together at Augusta. Well, unfortunately, he, he, he and Fred both have moved on to the senior tour, and, and uh, we used to play a lot of practice rounds together over all the years. Freddie said he had 206 to the flag on 18 today, so he can still hit it out there, huh? Come on in, Ross. Ross, man, how far you can hit it. He had 206? What do you say? 206. All right, Fred, where are you? Fred, 206, right? I said, did you hit like a four iron or maybe a little three? He says, no, I hit a four wood. <laughs> I'll take the water out of play. That's what I did. So, same with the driver, not much difference, right? Just hold your posture, your spine angle, good turn back, good turn through, a little late, you're going to hold the face open, hit it to the right a little bit like that. If you notice, a lot of the guys who hit the ball a long way on tour, let's say like a Bubba Watson, or Gary Woodland, or Dustin Johnson, a lot of these guys. Rory today, you know, playing the last couple days with them. All these guys hit the ball so far. They generate so much speed. And the reason why they're able to generate so much speed is they, they swing inside the box. So imagine the hips are the box. You never are outside the box this way. You're never outside the box this way. They stand and they rotate. So it's like when a figure skater spins, right? Their arms are out like this, they're slowing down. As soon as you bring them in, they spin faster. So the more you can keep your, your hips inside the box the entire time, the faster you can rotate for the ball go. One more and then we'll get a, a couple of juniors out for the Let's do that. That's what I did. Okay. Well, but the fairway's over there. <laughs> well, don't tell them that. See, that's the good thing about doing a clinic. You don't have to tell them where you're in. No, but you, know, what you do it during a clinic. You hit the shot, right. and then you see if it draws or fades, and then you describe it. That's how you hit a draw. That's how you hit a fade. <laughs> and I think you're playing great golf. <laughs> Let's, uh, if we get to come out and hit a couple of balls for us. You're the, you're the boss. How about you with the Augusta National hat on, young man, right there? Because you asked us. Come on out here. Come on My son's name is Sean too. What, what club would you like to hit? You're a righty, aren't you? What do you think? You play much golf? Cool. Check out your action. All right. Sean, should you say hi to your bag? That's right. Okay, are you going to hit like a draw or a fade? 
whatever. <laughs> Just straight. Pretty straight. Uh, straight. Okay. Cool. We're gonna go the yellow flag. All right. Six years old. So you're gonna by the time he's place. done with high school, I'll be on a senior tour. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be a pro, and I'll be in a cart. <laughs> Come and join me. I'll be gone. All right, one more. Why don't you get one up in the Air Force? A little soft one. Right there. <laughs> 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 you get that airplane up there? Do it. <laughs> Hey, 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 What's your name? Sorry? Amish? Nice to meet you. Amish? Amish? Tiger. Tiger. Alright. You got your own club, you're ready to go. You can see it up for it. We'll get it, Tiger. Hold on. Five and a half. Sweet. Alright. Alright, that's alright. Just give up, Tiger, show you what to do. I'm just taking them off. I'm sure you're back first by now. Go, go. Oh, yeah! Oh, nice. There you go. Sweet. Let's see one more. We got a bunch of future stars here, don't we? Yeah, we do. It's all right. Keep your eye on the ball. Hands a little closer together. There you go. There you go. Stay right in. There you go. Well, I'll take one out of there.
Ryan. Potential. Awesome. Pleasure to meet you. Nice Good to meet stuff. you. Nice to meet you. Thanks for coming out. Come on out. This is uh, barefoot. This is what I'm talking about. What's your name, honey? Emma? Nice to meet you. This is Tiger. You see how to Tiger? Yeah. Don't these. Oh, it's okay. Got some sense in it. I like Doug Sand, or Sand, far from Sand, a little closer to it. There you go. Nice! I think they make it look so Wait. easy. There you go, see when they clap, you gotta give them a little wave. We, we, have we, 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 have, we have a lot of thoughts in our little closer to the ball, just a little bit closer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There you go. Well done, Emma. Got a lot of people stars here. All right, Emma, thank you. Emma, thank you, you so much. Yeah, come on, come on. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Good job, nice to see you. What's your name? Neil? Nice to meet you. This is Neil, yeah. yeah. That's whatever weapon you want. How old are you, Neil? Eight years old. All right. Okay, there's no messing around. I like the way you play. Play with me. Yeah, that's a good club. Bad club. Bad club. That's what we go with, too. There we go. Now. Hold on, hold on. Alright. Probably too long. See, this probably still too long for us all. These things don't break, do they? No, that's why I use them. Yeah, look at that, man. You got some speed in there. It's good. How long have you been playing? Three years. Alright. You love it? We like that hat you got on there. We like that hat you got on there. You really like it. I like it. Okay. Well, you guys are going to be on the back side of the board. Yeah, that's right. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. All right, just a little steep on it. There you go, Good, thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. Good job, you guys. Good job. All right, one more. One more. Come on, him Come on, him pick. I've been picking everybody. What, what? You pick. I'm, I'm a T first for upper. Okay, Target! Target! Let's go! That's like the other guy in the orange hat. Come on. Ready? Alright, you got your own weapon too, that's what I like. What's your name? Adam? Nice to meet you. Adam, Adam Taylor. Like Tiger. Good seeing you. Good to see you. Alright, take a couple practice moves out. We're going to go right out of the hopper and just take a practice move. Nice. How old are you? How old are you? How old are you? Four years old? Four? Well, how old are you? Sir? You? Two? Uh, nine months. Nine months. <laughs> nine months. I was in bed at four. I know. You were. You were already over the hill. I peaked at a lot. How old were you on that Mike Douglas? Was it Mike Douglas? Yeah. yeah. How old were you? Three. Three. Look at that! Oh. That's awesome! That is fantastic! You guys are coming out of clinic!
Ladies and gentlemen, I just want to say uh, we're simply honoured here during the tournament week to have some great champions uh, in all our clinics and no finer than this evening to have Tiger Woods and Mark O'Meara. So a big thank you to both of them this evening. I do hope you enjoyed it. Just ask you everyone just to stay behind the fence, don't charge on us. Uh, enjoy the rest of the tournament. And once again, thank you and a very good evening.